Hey everyone, so tonight I'm going to be sharing with you a couple tutorials on how I created my crepe paper trim. I did a gift bag with some crepe paper trim on it about a couple years ago, I believe. And I never did a tutorial on it and you guys asked for it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it this year. I got a little carried away, as you can see. It's so addicting, just sitting at your desk, watching a movie, watching TV, and just sewing crepe paper. It gets so addicting, and it's so relaxing. So over here, I have different kinds. So I have a gathered one. I have a fringe one. <laughs> I even layered some. I'll show you in a second. This is the, this is the fringe one, like the ruffle trim. Um, it's just not ruffled yet because I figured while I have it on the spool like that, I can, um, you know, fluff it as I need to. The fringe trim that I'm showing you right now actually has two colors, black and orange, as well as this layered one that I did, this gathered layered trim. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do two styles tonight. I'm going to be showing you how to do the gathered and the fringe. I think what makes this even more adorable is the little spools or the long spools that I put them on. So I picked these up at Michael's in the kids section where you can find all the kid crafts. It's from Creatology and they're just long wooden spools. And this is the barcode. I painted them black and orange. First, I'm going to be sharing with you how I created the ruffle trim. So you're going to need four strands of crepe paper that measure about two feet. And you're going to go ahead and sew that right down the middle. So I already went ahead and did this off camera. I took it to my sewing machine and just sewed a straight stitch. So now we're just going to go ahead and create the ruffle look to the trim by folding right on that stitch that you just created. And we're going to cut every about quarter inch. So just like this, and you don't want to cut your trim in half. You just want to have a little space right underneath that stitch that you created. And after you're done with the entire thing, you are going to open up your trim and kind of give it a little fluff. You want to leave that little space right underneath the thread, otherwise you will cut right through your trim. So here I am just opening that up and showing you guys how you can fluff it. Like I said before, I don't fluff mine until I'm ready to use it. That way it stores really flat and easy on the spool which I love by the way. I think the spools are so perfect for your crepe paper and your crepe paper trim. I just think they're super adorable. So next, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I created my gathered layered trim. I already have a tutorial on how I do my gathered trim. I'll link it down below, but this is kind of the same thing. I'm gonna be showing you how I layer it. So you're going to need two strands of crepe paper in different colors that measure two feet. And here I'm just making sure that they're the same size. And after that, you're going to take the crepe paper that you'd like to layer on top, and you're going to fold that onto itself. And this is just going to make it easier for us to cut a little bit off the side. So I cut about a quarter inch off the side. And then I'm going to be centering that on the top of my crepe paper that I want on the bottom. And you can tack this down if you want with a little bit of adhesive. I don't. And now I'm just going to take it over to my sewing machine and show you how I do my gathered trim. So you're just going to pinch and sew. As you're pinching all your crepe paper together, you kind of have to hold it so it doesn't move anywhere. And when you're holding it, you sew over it. So hopefully that made sense. So I'm gathering and holding it at the same time. And when I have a good amount, I sew over that. Same time, you have to remember to keep the top layer in the center. And this is what you come up with. And now I'm just going to be adding my trim to my spool and that's it. This is really easy to do and it's super addicting. I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Love you guys. Bye.